Hey, big cats, if you've been experiencing like headaches and fatigue, severe headaches or just consistent headaches, listen up. Um, you need to cleanse your fucking body. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this shit. It's not no fucking ascension symptoms, no mystical bullshit like that. The worms, the parasites, they wanna be fed. Uh, big cats, I really wanna say, let the fucking meat go. They have been telling us to our faces, they ain't even feeding y'all real meat no more. And it's been quite a while since it's been real meat. Big cat, it's a dangerous road. It's a dangerous addiction. Take it from somebody who was heavily addicted, heavily, heavy in all aspects. I am a former obese person. I came from extreme obesity. What it do, big cats? Here with some evening motivation, some noon motivation. I want to talk about how we've been degraded. Degraded. <laughs> We've been degraded as a species from the ideologies pumped into our psych psyche to the food we eat, to the air we breathe, to the music. There is no aspect of this life that has not been compromised on a major scale. So, Big Cats, I, I, I need I need someone out there to overstand, understand, understand, understand the importance of cleansing Cleansing regularly, whether that be fasting for 12 to 24 to 48 to 72 hours, practicing intermittent fasting, getting sunlight so that you may purge the inconsistencies within your vessel, sweating every day. Make sure you're doing some type of activity that allows you to sweat and perspire so that you may detox certain things out of your auric fields it's essential that you are not connecting with toxic low vibrational entities information and vibrations there oh my goodness big cats all over tiktok there's fucks there's fucks everywhere all over tiktok spreading division and i don't know if you understand understand this but if you tap in to those individualistic and separative rhetorics it separates something within you if you listen to if you listen to sex wars all day gender wars all day it separates your polarities within if you listen to race wars all day it separates your perspectives and polarities within and what activates you as the highest possible version of yourself is the balance the stability that you have to work to obtain and listening to these detrimental rhetorics will keep you fucked i'm just gonna tell you how it is it's gonna keep you screwed it's gonna keep you unbalanced within there will always be apartheid within your psyche if you continue to connect to dysfunction Big Cats, one thing that they they are afraid of more than anything is once we become united, not only within our communities and within the world, but within ourselves. That is the main reason so many people are preaching separated, divisive rhetorics is because they have no unity within themselves. They see themselves separate from the whole of what reality is when in reality, the spirit knows that we are all divinely connected, inseparable. The ego wishes to separate and compartmentalize things that have no business being separated. Once you overstand, understand, once you find that divine connectivity, there is nothing that can separate you from manifesting what you desire, the nirvana within. Big Cat's individuals wonder how i wake up every freaking day happy satisfied fulfilled and whole and this is not to say that i do not go through um tribulation but the way i handle the tribulation is vastly different than how i would have reacted to it in the past i literally Big Cats, once you realize you're connected to everything and everybody, you see the angles that people try to take towards you to cut you down so you can cut the angle off because you're seeing through that person's perspective. 
Your empathy allows you to connect with that person on an energetic level that negates any type of negativity that they try to throw your way. Once you realize and understand your self-worth and your self-wholeness, then there is no type of adversity that can keep you away from your crown, your third eye, which is the connection to the most high. And, and to be 110% honest, even the chakra system, how it's set up, it's set up to disconnect us from the Mercuba, which is the whole electric body itself. Our Kundalini energy is seeking to connect us to divinity, which is life itself. Everything is divine. It's crazy how we'll look at an animal doing its natural thing living its natural life and we'll look at it in awe but we look at humans trying to embody their natural essence and a lot of times we'll judge that we'll separate that from what nature is humans are just as much as part of nature as any animal is and i've said this once i'll say it again a lot of animals are more advanced and internalize and know these truths more than humans because we have been indoctrinated the indoctrination runs deep and it keeps us from embodying and living to our full potential. So, Big Cats, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm about to go play basketball. I need you guys to continue to eat healthy, eat electromagnetically charged foods. Make sure your food has energy in it, Big Cats, because that is what's keeping us stuck in depression, cycles of self-sabotage, anxiety, hatred for ourselves and others. We need to create support within within ourselves so that that support radiates externally. Once we begin to become whole individuals, then we will see the importance, the essential qualities of unity. Because without unity, without uniting with your fellow man, without them, without them uniting with themselves and you uniting with yourself and then coming together to create unification, there is no change. It's impossible and it'll never happen. Much love, big cats. You already know what it is. Mad niggas, the big cat.